this is Soba my cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to do your Thanksgiving turkey. Um, this is a very special day of the year. To start off, we're going to unwrap the turkey. The brand I usually get is Butterball. I think it's a quality brand. Every year, I always buy fresh turkey instead of frozen. Once we get our turkey completely unwrapped, we're going to clean it. The most important thing is you have to make sure to take out the part that you put it inside the turkey. First, you take out the one between the turkey's legs, and then you go inside the chest, and then take that one out too. If you haven't baked turkey before, you might not know that you have to, there's something inside that you need to take it out. Next, I take a sponge and scrub the turkey and give it a good bath. Take your time and get all the nooks and crannies. My mom is a very good cook. And when she came to um, US to help me with my kids, one thing she was impressed with me it's around Thanksgiving when I baked my turkey. After we scrub up our turkey, we're going to make sure we rinse it very well. When I'm cleaning the turkey, I don't put the turkey in straight to the sink. I like to put it in the tub to clean. I usually do that because I don't want any germs coming through the drain to touch the turkey. It's a personal preference. I always remove this section of the turkey. When you're cleaning the turkey, make sure you change the water from time to time. When you're cleaning it, make sure you clean inside and out. Now we're going to transfer the turkey into this rack, so I'm going to clean this very well. Since we're going to put our clean turkey back in the tub, we need to clean that tub too. Okay, we're going to let our turkey rest in this tub while we get our stuffing ready. To start off, we're going to boil one pound of water chestnut. After it's boiled, you're going to take the inside out. Continue this until you get a cup of water chestnut. Moving on, we're going to get three yellow onions and dice them. This is a very happy time of the year for me. 
I love Thanksgiving because I get to cook all my favorite dishes and have my family around me. Next, we're going to chop some celery. You need to cut about three stalks of celery. After this, we're going to get two Jimmy D sausage. I usually get the sage flavor. Next, we're going to add two packages of breadcrumbs. I usually get Pepperidge Farm. Also, chopped about eight cloves of garlic. I'm going to mix all these ingredients together with my hands. This is the time you're going to add the water chestnut as well. After this, you're going to add two cups of chicken broth and mix together. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of sage. and one tablespoon of onion powder. Also add one tablespoon of salt. Next add one teaspoon of parsley. And sprinkle about a tablespoon of black pepper. Mix everything together very well. Now we are back to our turkey. Rub one tablespoon of salt seasoning and one tablespoon of salt all around the turkey. Next, rub a tablespoon of black pepper onto the turkey as well. Now for the fun part, we're going to stuff the turkey. Squeeze as much of the stuffing inside the turkey. Also, make sure you put the stuffing inside the chest part. Next, we're going to tie the turkey with some twine. First, we're going to tie together the legs. You have to make sure you tie it well so it doesn't come untied while it's in the oven. You also want to tie the wings together. Next, I'm going to wrap the twine around the turkey so when after it's baked, it's easy to lift it up and put it on the turkey powder.
you see how easy it is to lift it makes it easier once it's ready to put it on the water the last ingredients we're gonna add is our stick of butter you're gonna need two sticks of butter gonna put it in the oven and cover it with foil and that's it for now tune in next week for the finished turkey